Hey guys, get level here, and today we're gonna be checking out a VST plugin made for live streamers by a live streamer. If you don't know what a VST plugin is, it's basically a filter that you can apply to your microphone in order to make it sound way better than what it actually sounds like originally. I am in fact using one right now. I already made a video on a free VST plugin, but this one was really, since it was made by a streamer, it really has everything that you need in order. Presumably, I haven't checked it out yet, so we're gonna be checking it out uh, together. The creator of this VST plugin is Rob Dizalot. You can check him out on Twitch. Pretty cool guy. He contacted me. This is not a sponsored video by any means. He just made the plugin and told me, hey, I think this might be useful for your audience. So I was like, let me see it. <laughs> so the VST plugin is called Speechy. In order to get it, you have to go to neverdieaudio.com and we're going to go ahead and download it. We're going to click on the download tab. Okay, so it's compatible with Windows and also compatible with Mac. I didn't even know that. That's dope. Now, as you can see there is a free trial but Rob is such a cool guy that he actually accepted for me to give you guys 10 different keys so there's gonna be a giveaway more info on that at the end of the video so stick around uh, let's click on Windows download and as we can see here it's only 16 megs it's not huge so it's a zip file we're gonna go ahead and unzip it I'm gonna right click uh, we're gonna put extract okay so here in the folder we will find uh, the setup and there's like a help HTML here here. If you if you're not sure, you can double click on that, open it in whatever browser you're using, and it'll tell you what to do and how to use it. You know what? Let's actually read it because I haven't seen it yet and I don't want to miss anything. So main control, cleanup section, advanced settings. All right? There's a bypass, quality, boom, boom, boom. Presets. Oh, you can actually save presets or oh nice. It's an AB comparison. That's nice. Input volume, output volume, compressor. Tone booster, there's a noise gate, a dehesser, a denoiser, and a deplosive. Is that po po po? <laughs> and on top of that, what is that? That's an equalizer. Oh my god, this is dope. Okay, so there's so much, so much to talk about here. All right, let's go back to that folder and just install it. Double click on it. And basically, I'm guessing it will add the VST to your VST folder. Um, now, depending on the software you're using, you might have to go and find it, but it should be a universal. Uh, VST folder here you can select with ty which type of VST you want there's 32 I don't know if I need the AX oh, let me install it we'll see we'll see click next next for Gucci and finish just like that it's done how can I show it to you while also recording with OBS I might use Streamlabs OBS to actually open it Okay, so today is actually a new day because apparently OBS did not like me switching uh, <laughs> switching VST plugins, opening up Streamlabs OBS and all that yesterday. So today is a new day and I'm re-recording this part because the whole part where I tested the plugin actually did not have any sound because I messed up somehow or OBS messed up. I don't know. Okay, let's not point fingers. So how do you add uh, speech to your mic? So you go find your mic in your audio mixer. You click on the little cogwheel. You're going to go ahead and uh, go to filters and then you're gonna add you're gonna press plus here and then you're gonna add a VST plugin and once you click OK you're gonna click down here and you'll see it appear if it's not here then you might have to find your actual VST plugin folder and then put speech in there but it should be automatic unless you have some weird configuration you should be good. So I actually have Speechy enabled right now. I'm gonna click open plugin interface and this is what it looks like. And this is the part that wasn't working with Streamlabs OBS. Well, since it's the next day and I know now that it doesn't work with, well, it works with Streamlabs OBS, but the interface was frozen. I can talk about it. I can call out Streamlabs for that. Please Streamlabs, please, please, please fix your, your VST support. Cause it actually works. It works flawlessly technically, you know, the sound, the input, the output, everything works in the plugin the only thing that doesn't work is the actual interface so you can't see you see those things moving when you have it in Streamlabs OBS it doesn't work anyways I'm gonna try to go quickly over it um, this is not an in-depth tutorial or whatever I'm just gonna try and show you how fast you can really improve uh, your sound quality so I'm gonna turn off everything so turn off compressor, turn off this. So this is what my mic, and make sure that everything is turned off. This is what my mic pretty much sounds like with nothing when you just plug it in. So you buy this mic, which is the Mono A4 
or something like that, <laughs> which is a very, very decent microphone. I don't have a crappy microphone to show, uh, to show an example, but when you plug it in, this is what it sounds like. And this might not be the quality that you want for your stream or your videos or your whatever. So we're going to immediately do, you know, what we have to do to make it sound good. And the first thing I'm going to do, I like to do is the compressor. And you can tell it's telling you when it's, pe it's peaking. Ah, uh, <laughs> Okay, compressor, now we should be pretty good. Plus the compressor will also help you when it comes to movement. I used to have a mic that if I move a little bit away from it, you wouldn't be able to hear me at all. The compressor alone already helps you out so much when it comes to speaking too loudly or not loud enough and, and keeping things um, kind of um, homogenous when it comes to the volume of your speech. And that is transparent compressor. That means that it, it doesn't sound too, too harsh as a compressor, but if you click on transparent, you can get it to aggressive and aggressive is, is more aggressive. And in this case, I can hit this the same uh, decibels by being really away from the mic and getting closer but i'm st i'm still around the same levels and this is great if you have an environment that doesn't have a lot of noise but that can also be taken care of i mean i i, I did a cool test yesterday for the noise anyways let's uh <laughs> that is aggressive compressor i'm gonna keep it transparent because i think it, it sounds a little bit better if you're not really going for that radio sound now let's go with tone booster this is one of my favorite things in this plugin <laughs> Uh, did it boost my uh, my sneezing? So let me turn that down. Tone booster is what I prefer. Is usually why I go with um, physical mixers over software base. But this this one really <laughs> makes it worth it. Look at that. So there's the sexy low end. There's the mid range drive and the vocal air. I like those names. So sexy low end is gonna boost those low end frequencies. That means that mm, that boot that bass, you know? So if I'm starting to speak like that, I'm like, hello, my name is Gal Level. Hello, my name is Gal Level. Hello, my name is Gal Level. You can probably hear that uh, there's way, way more bass in my voice. Now, if I want to add some clarity to that, I can boost the vocal air. You know, it's the, hey guys, <laughs> hey guys, Gal Level here. And now we're getting really close to like final mix of a voice and if you add that plus the aggressive <laughs> compressor i'm exaggerating but i really want to to show you what it sounds like and what they do now that we're getting close to this uh, radio almost talk show quality and this is something that i love a lot mid-range is going to be the mid -range. i don't like boosting up the mid-range but it's basically you know you have the low end the high end and then the mid-range is like the 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 ah, ah, you know, it's not the mm, or that's it's the ah. <laughs> so we can boost that and we can talk like that, but it uh, really don't like it. Anyways, so what else do we have? We have the gate. This is what I'm guessing is a not j like just a just a noise gate. And the cool thing here is you have like a, a um, fake LED. <laughs> what is green? That means that you're talking and it's going to get red once it cuts, basically. And since my since it's all the way down, it's not going to cut. So I'm going to grab it here this is real talk this is a better interface than the integrated noise gate that is both in streamlabs obs and obs studio i think that's neat i think that's really cool that is so so dope anyways um now let's test the the noise reducer and the the deesser and the deep pop the deep popper the deep plosive <laughs> but the deesser is that it is if there's too much if the noise that you're having in your background is specific and it's just a tss or something like that, you can kind of get rid of that. Um, let me get rid of the gate and let's put some, let's just put some static noise. I know this is not the regular type of noise, but I don't really have a lot of noise here. So bear with me, please. Oh my God. Of course we're going to get some ads. Okay. So that is the noise that we're experiencing. Let's say that someone left an old school TV on behind you, right? And I'm gonna use the DSR to kind of let you know, to kind of let you hear the frequency that it's taking off, okay? So, DSR on. Well, when, it at, when it's at zero, this is what it will so sound like. And I'm gonna gradually turn it up. And here you have a frequency that you can uh, tweak.
And this is, for static noise, this is doing a pretty good job. As you can probably hear in my voice that it's also taking off a little bit of the, the, the frequencies from my voice. But hey, unless you really have a noisy TV right behind your face, you're not going to be in that situation. I just want to show you how well it works. Okay, let's try the, ne the denoiser. So the denoiser is on and I'm going to turn it up. And then there's something called style that we can tweak. And it get rid of it all together. It's still still playing. Still playing. Closer to the mic than my mouth is. That means that you you would need to have an insane amount of noise in order to use those those values here. It's great. It's great. That being said, the denoiser, when it comes to the denoiser, um, OBS Studio upgraded their their denoiser and they have an AI based one. You have the choice between two denoiser, just letting you know that there's a new one that is very, very effective too. Um, Deplosive is the pa pa pa, it's the poo poo poo, the pee pee pee, and the pa pa pa. <laughs> you can see how in my input here it's it's getting red. All right, let's um let's see what it does. So if I go pa pa poo 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 pa 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 pa. And I turn it all the way up and I go po 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 Peter Parker Peter Parker Peter Parker Turn it off Peter Parker Peter Parker Peter Parker Peter Parker Hopefully you can hear the difference I'm actually not hearing um what it's like anymore I don't have the tone booster and then we have the equalizer uh, equalizer, you have, um, this is a full equalizer, so you, have, so you have middle, treble, and then you have bass. Treble is going to be high frequencies, bass is going to be middle. It's kind of like the tone booster, but, you know, probably more, uh, with more fidelity to it. So if I go ahead and cut my bass, and I cut my treble, and I boost my middle, I probably sound like a 50s announcer. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today in our program, we have Get Level explaining what this uh, speechy VST plugin sounds like. Uh, tune in at 5 a.m. for the next show. Thank you. <laughs> so this is... <laughs> This is not what it's meant to be, but basically if you have a mic that when you plug it in, it lacks a lot of high frequencies or treble in that case, you can boost it up. If it lacks in the bass department, you can boost it up. Same thing if it has too much bass, you can cut it out. And, and then you have also the mid. If there's a lot of bass, a lot of high, but not enough mid, you know, you understand. Boom. And then here you have something called ugly frequency control. And this is more in the advanced. I'm not even gonna go um, through this. I'm gonna let you guys, <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys play around with it. Again, there is a 15 day trial. So I think that's more than enough for you to test it out and see if you like it. So go on uh, neverdieaudio.com, download Speechy, test it out. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions about it, you can also join their Discord. They have a Discord for it. Well, saying they, it's one dude, but, <laughs> but yeah, you can join the Discord for that. So here you have it. This is the Speechy VST plugin for streamers. You can make any mic sound way better than it actually sounds like. Now what I want you to do is go to the website and download it and you can try it. You have a 15 day trial, which is so, so fair. And if you like it, well consider buying it. That being said, I am giving away 10 keys to you guys. All you have to do to participate is tweet this video, tag me in it, I'm at level photo, and also follow Rob dies a lot on Twitch. That is twitch.tv slash Rob Rob dies a lot. I will put the link in the description. I will announce the winners next week. So good luck. Hopefully that was informative enough for you guys. Well, I know it like that was so cool that I'm definitely going to be using it. It's always cool to see people actually come up with stuff that is just focused on. Hey, live streamers, I understand your needs. I'm a live streamer myself and Rob made it happen. And that's really cool. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you are looking for some dope overlays to make your Twitch channel look good, go to gumroad.com slash level. Most of them are completely free and the rest is very, very affordable. That being said, if you check top right of your screen right now, YouTube will suggest you the best video you're supposed to watch next. And underneath that, you will find my latest video. So go check him out. Go, go, go do it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Go out there. Make me proud. Get level. Out.